that time. Or some country fried steak. Game has started around a minute. Minute to win it. This is probably Russia. Nope. This is Mongolia. Because it says MN. That's where we're going on. Anyway, how we doing? It is our day of fries. The rarer type of day that only happens once a week, if you're lucky. Um, where we sit and reflect on what we did to actually get here. We survived a Monday, Tuesday, and a Wednesday. Thursday thought it had us, but we, we showed them. And then we arrived. Friday's doorstep knocking on the door. And Friday's like, hey, look at this view. Isn't it amazing? Fancy uh, seeing you here. It's uh, a lovely day outside. Let's go sit on my porch out in the back and have a chat. I have no idea where this is, and I have 15 seconds. I am panicking. I'm going to say this is Central America somewhere. I see some agaves, but that doesn't mean anything. I'll just say Nicaragua. I'm going to get this wrong. Yep. Ah, I couldn't. Well, it didn't matter because I was going to pick Nicaragua, so I got it wrong regardless, but I wanted to go click on the map, and the map wouldn't agree with me. Well, that was a quick round. Good way to start. We'll uh, start right back up again. Oh, I got the bad ones out of the way. Nothing but the good ones. De Bortoli Winery. Is that a musketman? Dixon's Creek Avenue of Honor. They spell honor funny. I don't think this is America. This just might be um no. Man, I'm I'm my brain is saying like sixteen things. This is probably wrong. Yeah. For some reason I kept looking at that plate. I don't know why I didn't bother looking at the car and I was just staring at the plate. The plate was saying, That looks North American style license plate. Mine flooded. I drowned in it. Oh, so much so that I've lost my train of thought. Uh, I know I had to do something with sitting in Friday's backyard, hanging out. But we're past that now. Is this Ukraine or is this Russia? Uh, it's a dot com, so that doesn't help me. Let's see. Gustavari. Well, we have Scopia. Where is this in Macedonia? I mean, I'm assuming that if this isn't North Macedonia, excuse me, um, it's close to it. Could be like Bulgaria. Could be right on the uh, on the border. But nah, I'm I'm gonna stick with this. I don't think I've been to this. I have not been to Titovo. I mean, it's close to Skopje. Skopje. I mean, you could argue that North Macedonia is a small enough country that most things are very close to it, but regardless. Uh, we are probably in Poland. Yeah. What are your weekend plans? I think I have a few things in mind. Most of them having to do with relaxing. Maybe some reading. I've been slacking on finishing this Witcher book. I mean, I did kind of get deflated just because it's uh, such a huge book. This one in particular. I'm going to be more glad when I'm done with this so I'm, I'm kind of free. 
from having to read all the books. John Deere. So this is going to aggro Luro. Well, shit. Now, it says aggro Luro. I don't think this is Mexico. But I also don't think it's Texas. Uh, Bahia Blanca. Shit, I'm going to... We're going to lose a streak at two here. Because... I'm bad. Uh, we'll just say Argentina and be wrong. Oh shit, we got lucky. We got extremely lucky. But, I'll take it. Um, is this Iceland? If it's not Iceland, it's... Someplace similar? Man, I get Iceland again. Twice in, yeah... Getting Iceland twice in one week. Marty feeling wistful about the city guesser and going to Reykjavik and just being like, man, I miss that place. I miss traveling. I don't know when I'm going to be able to travel again. I got to wait in line. I'm so far down the line as far as when I'm actually going to be able to get the vaccine shots that I don't think I'm even on a list. Uh, my mom has already gotten it, but that was mainly because there was a snowstorm at the hospital she was working at, and all the other people who were in line to get it weren't there that day, and they were just like, hey, we've got to use these. I probably drove. Mm, no, we probably went on the one when we were heading south and coming into it from the airport in Keflavik. We were probably on either of these two. Um. But they had to use the, the vaccine so they were going to go bad. So they said, hey, anybody here who wants it? And she was there. She got it. She has had both shots now, talking about how much the second shot kicked her ass as far as, like, being wiped out for a couple of days. But that was early last month. Yeah. I think our state is now on getting everybody 70 or 75. <laughs> Kampala. That's Uganda. So let's just pick it right off the bat. We're, we're, we're blitzing through these. I mean, granted, I only have a minute to do these. Government of Ghana, I think that says. I'm just going to click on Ghana because what else do I got to go on? Let's see if I'm right. Oh, I am. I had a lot of help from that sign. Speaking of signs, that one disappeared. Fair enough sign. You, you don't have to stay here. I don't have to look for you. I have other things to look for to let me know that this is Scandinavia. Is this Sweden? Is this Finland? I don't know. I have half my time. Uh, Netherlands. Well, we'll go with that. Okay. I mean, that was very much kind of a guess. And this one, I'm. this is the one we're going to lose on because the way this road is going, we're going into more of nothing. I see there's some windmills maybe over there. Not entirely sure. Regardless. Um, oh, we're going to do this. I am glad that, man, this is a very, very dirty place. Burgas, shit. This is just plastic everywhere. <sighs> I've seen Burgas. There it is. We're in Bulgaria. It's a very, very dirty strip of road here. Uh, but the what the the news as far as like if you're not paying attention to at least Texas here in the U.S., they had you could say unusual weather, very cold. 
people have been without power for 30 plus hours. Um, people's houses and apartments, their pipes are freezing. Uh, if you're unaware what that means, uh, there's an issue, at least here where I live, we're kind of used to it because we get all seasons. Um, it can get cold enough where your pipes freeze, and you know what happens when water, when it freezes, it expands. And if you have a plumbing system not prepared for it, you're, and the water freezes in the pipes, your pipes will burst, causing very bad water damage everywhere. Uh, we do have LV. LV. I believe it's Latvia. But we have ways of working around that here, at least in the uh, northeast where I live, where you know you can turn turn your taps just a little bit to keep the water running because the water is moving in your pipes; it doesn't have a chance to build up and freeze. Whereas if it was the pipes were shut off, water doesn't go anywhere; it's stagnant, it has a chance to freeze, and it will. Uh, but places like in Texas, where it doesn't get that cold really ever they're not prepared for it or unaware of how to prepare for it um also there's a lot of wind farms in texas i forget the percentage of electricity they get from wind farms their windmills are not designed or at least protected against such cold whereas like people have said shared photos of places in alberta canada where they have windmills and they're designed to be used in extremely cold weather um these places in texas even as far back as 1989 were suggested hey these things should be protected against such cold measures and i have zero idea where this is um this is where we fail i'm just gonna say romania i mean fuck i didn't see anything i saw a sign this is probably gonna be south america oh shit I shouldn't have got this one. I'll, I'll 100% tell you that. For all those times I guessed and got them wrong, here's the one time I didn't. Um, but they were people were made very well aware of how to fix these things, and it's no different now than it has been in any other time in human history. We were warned. Nobody did anything about it because they're like, it won't ever happen. Or say what you will. It won't happen to us. It's not that big of a deal. That's a lot of money. We could use it towards other things or nothing at all. Rokas Birza. I'm going to go this way into town because maybe in the short time I have, I can actually find out some more information about what country this is. Hello, DE. Well, I've got Germany. I don't think this is Germany. 10 seconds. So I'm just going to click Germany and be wrong. Because I don't know where else. Ray.com. Oh, fuck, we'll just do Germany. Here we go. We're wrong now. Yep. Oh, well. What are you going to do? You didn't feel German in any way. I saw the .de. I had nothing else to go on. I got lucky with the Romanian one before that. Luck ran out. We will play again. Start the game. Where is this? Easy pass. I mean, this is the U.S., so I'm, just, I'm not going to waste any time. Where in the U.S. are we? Chicago? No, we were outside Rockford, apparently. Would not have guessed that. This seems familiar. Like, if I go up here, it comes to a farm? I think I'm confusing this with, like, a dream. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I feel like I've... Are you a dog? You're a dog. Uh, I'm going to say Italy. Because I don't have anything else really to assume here. I mean, there's palm trees here. I don't think this is Italy, but I don't have anything else to go on. Except for you, truck. 
What do we got? Nothing of use. So I'm just going to click Italy. Oh, got it right. Barely. Just barely. Next. We got stop. Someplace in Europe. Well, we're not allowed that way. Yes, we are. Take that GeoGuessr. Is that a Cadoba? Nope. Uh, I can't make that out. Politia. Cuplata. Man, none of this is useful. Loco Cebu. Is this Italy again? I am wasting far too much time on this back road here. No blocati. Well, we'll say Italy again. Nope. Oh, Romania. Oh, well. Um, pardon me as I sip my coffee. That's going to do it for this Friday edition of GeoGuessr. I'd like to thank you all for watching and checking anything else we've had in the channel this week. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, tips, and suggestions of any kind, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll read them and get back to you. Weekend has started. Go enjoy your work weekend, what you've been working for. And when Monday comes around, the week will have started again. I can't help you with that. All I can do is just put things up during the week to help you kill time. See you, folks.